So, Kurt, this is uh, we love doing this. Obviously, uh, you and I don't agree on everything. And uh, uh, but I really loved watching, you know, former Republicans still love to watch when Democrats fight and you and Ratner. <laughs> I, I, that's perfect. We have to get him back tomorrow. But I, I just like their differences, obviously, where Democrats are economically. I, that Reagan quote just reminded me of when I went to the House as sort of this libertarian slash conservative slash populist. One of the things that irritated me so much was that, yes, you are right. There uh, were Republicans and there were business people that tried since the early 1970s to get government off of their backs. But it's so funny uh, that most of these people, the chamber, these pro-business lobbying groups, they weren't such libertarians when, you know, people like me would try to vote down the sugar subsidy. Or I remember just catching absolute hell when I tried to end royalty relief so uh, big oil uh, wouldn't get federal subsidies for doing what they do anyway and, and, and drill. And, and you could, they could go down the list. They, they, always, they would always grade you well if you voted against extending welfare benefits for poor single moms, but you would always get punished by that same supposedly libertarian pro-business community if you were against, if you voted against and fought against corporate welfare. So I can't use the word this morning. Let me just use the abbreviation. So this Milton Friedman, Frederick Hayek, we're small government champions and government get out of our lives. I saw it firsthand from the business community in Washington, D.C., from K Street, pure BS. Yeah. Well, like you, Joe, back then, I remember reading uh, the director of the Office and Management Budget, David Stockman's uh, account in real time in 1980 in William Greider's amazing cover story in The Atlantic Monthly, saying exactly what you're saying, saying he came in as a, a Joe Scarborough-esque conservative and was shocked and disgusted that this was all a lie, that, that it was just about opening up the trough as never before to big business and the rich. And that's what it was about. And and admitted that the supply side economics and lowering taxes so there'd be lots of jobs, the trickle down idea was also uh, uh, just a Trojan horse and something they didn't, didn't really believe. Yeah, we'll, we'll lower taxes for everybody, but all we really care about is lowering taxes for the rich and big business. Um, and, and the thing about when I started doing my research uh, about for Evil geniuses. I knew. Okay, Reagan got elected in 1980. I, I hadn't. I didn't realize until I did this massive amount of research how much change. What a what a gigantic shift that was. Of course, as we spoke about the other day, it was it was being built up in the 70s. This 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 alternate paradigm. This this con conservative counter establishment uh, was was sending people like Joe Scarborough to Congress. But but uh, th really, the before and after in the 80s is so stark in so many ways, really as big a change um, as the as the 60s or the 30s, which is why, you know, I call what happened the raw deal rather than the new deal. It's Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.